Juki is over here. She's playing the role of the ranger. A ranger, Hi. A super well balanced uh, uh, javelin. It's kind of the perfect balance of offense meets defense, right? And then we've got obviously the mother of grabbits <laughs> playing uh, the interceptor today. Ooh, nice. Mm. Nice little celebration there. Okay, I've just had a thumbs up from the man in the corner. We fixed the, the we echo. Fixed the, we want to recap actually over the storm. Apparently it was really, really bad. Very sorry to everybody in the chat. So we are 100% um, less echo rate. We are, uh, yes, better. Thank you. Finally, storm. Perfect. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Thanks. Yes, Excellent. it's fixed. Okay, we are good. Cool. Very sorry, guys. No worries. So this is the interceptor, right? Sleek. It's the fastest, right? If you got the need for speed, interceptor. That's all you. We call the interceptor essentially the space ninja. I like the interceptor reminds me a lot of like a super bike. Yeah, not. Yeah. Like it's got that design to it. Straight Missing lines. the wheels, yeah. although you'd argue faster. <laughs> Definitely wheelless. <laughs> Why use wheels when you can fly? Exactly. Just say it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, what? I don't know if we're allowed to do this. I'm going to leave it up to the chat. Okay. Um, so basically, people of the chat, we know obviously the grabbits are a really big thing. You guys love them. Some of you hate them. Um, Storm likes grabbits too. Storm likes grabbits. I. Uh, we can do this how you want. Do you want us to go do some grabbit hunting? We can go and do that. <laughs> uh, is hunting the right word, or should we go hunting or spotting? I think community choice. Community is this what choice. We're doing? Do you want to go hunting or do you want to go spotting? I think that's fair. Uh, what are they saying? I don't know. Let's see. We're away from. Yeah, they're just saying yes. <laughs> 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 to both. They're just yes, saying yes. yes. Yeah. Um, hunt. Hunt. Yeah, hunting spot. Okay, it's a bit. Uh, Oh, actually, no, there's a lot of hunt. Wow, you guys are mean. <laughs> um, the, so there was, yes, they are. They're down there still. So if you look down off that edge. Uh, so should we fly down there and take a look? I think we should. Let's get up close. Mother of Grabbits, try not to shoot any like you did in rehearsals. <laughs> well, yeah, anyway, don't kill them all before we get there. So these little guys, what are they about? Oh. What's the secret with these guys? Are these like the... Are we going to get to the end of the game and find out that these are actually the bad guy? Is that the plot <laughs> twist? I can't get into the, the, the lore and the story in this session. Let's just say the Grabbits are, are present in the world of Adam. <laughs> <laughs> or not present? I think we're supposed to be hunting right now, right? We're not supposed to be. Yeah, we are hunting. So, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, no. I'm going to be honest. A little we're not the strongest far. enemies we've encountered. <laughs> they don't seem particularly. No. They're all starting to run away, actually. Yeah, now. They, they are, are, they they are, are all off. Yeah. There's a nice little pod of them down here, look at the bottom of this hill. Oh, where are you at? Do you, I want to see if I can mortar them. Is mortaring them allowed, chat? Should we mortar the grabbits? You see? Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't me. Little that wasn't acid. me. I want to put one down the hill. Little acid strike. <laughs> watch, there. The, watch, watch out for the toxins on that. Who was that? The ranger? Yeah, that was me. Oh, interceptor. <laughs> you see these guys down here at the bottom? Where are you at? I'm. I'm Sam, right, you ready? You ready? Boom! A little mortar action. Aww. Good night. Oh, I missed! <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get back on the mission. Okay, yeah, let's get mean? back on the mission. Let's head back up to the platform. And let's start the mission properly. Cool. Um, so, I mean, for me, when we've been doing rehearsals, this is kind of one of the cool things for me, is that, yes, we're on a mission, but yeah. actually, if you want to sort of mess about yeah, and just can, fly around right? and explore and stuff, you can do that it's too. Up to you. Um, I've got to boot the chat back up because my laptop just locked. No worries. <laughs> Why don't I set up the mission? We have we done it? this before, I swear. Yeah, yeah, you set yeah. up the mission. You yeah, tell so, us a bit about it. So this mission is called the Lost Arcanist, right? So uh, we were back in Fort Tarsus inside the protective walls in, in our beautiful world that's, uh, that is Anthem. Uh, a Corvus agent by the name of Tassin has approached us to find one of their lost arcanists by the name of Matthias. Apparently Matthias is out there and, and the arcanist they search for, for shaper runes and things like that out in the actual world outside the, the protective walls of, of a game Fort Tarsus. Uh, our job is to actually go find uh, Matthias. Uh, with the help of our cipher, Owen, who again is the eyes and ears of, of any freelancer, uh, he's going to help guide us through the mission. He's like a man in the chair, basically. He's back it. at base watching that's right. everything that's yep, going on. You got it. Well, let's jump so, on yeah, this. You heading down? Right. So again, here's our beautiful world of. Uh, of, of Anthem. Uh, Owen, uh, what you guys missed while we were on the platform during the setup there, 
uh, he's kind of let us know that, hey, I've got a signal. I've got a beat here on, on, on Matthias. Come check it out. As I skim the water here, you'll see that I'm actually cooling down my javelin. That's cool. I love that. You can also do that by flying through waterfalls and like actually when you dip into water revival, you've seen a lot of that in our trailers. Absolutely. Like it is super cool. Like when you're running hot and you just happen to just catch a waterfall, they all seem to be conveniently placed and you just yeah. straight through them. There's no accidents, jets, right? And then you're yeah, off. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's a really cool moment when you do it as well, especially the first time. Oh, it's awesome. So this is an Arcanist camp, right? Uh, so this was the, kind of the first signal. Um, Owen, again, he gave us sort of a, a, some intel that obviously Matthias has been here, right? Uh, but he's definitely not here right now. So here's our first clue. Again, we're going to kind of check out and check out the signal here. See if we can actually locate oh, hang on. our good friend. Detecting another radio. Same frequency. What you're not hearing right now in this build, again, this is alpha footage, right? Uh, so my player voice actually isn't happening. So I'm letting uh, Matthias... Uh, Owen know that we can't actually find him. He's told us to go find and follow this signal, right? So these things here that we're going to fly through, these are these are basically the beacons that have been yeah, put down for us. Yeah, these are essentially the signals that, that uh, okay, Owen's actually trail. locating we'll and, and to using to for us to follow. For better reception. There's a lot of trees in the game. Did you guys spend a lot of time in the forest taking pictures of trees and modeling trees? Like, did, was there like a big developer expedition yeah, to the rainforest in Brazil? It was, to, you know, it was balanced out between Austin and Edmonton, and we, so we did a lot of tree tree. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, so this bit, the, the lost arcanist that we're coming up to, he is. Um, is he like, is he part of a group? Is this like a faction that we'll interact a lot with during uh, yeah, the game? Yeah, the Arcanists are all throughout Fort Tarsus. Tars Tars There's a lot of them, right? Um, Matthias is one of the main ones. Uh, again, not to divulge too much of the storyline and that kind of stuff, but he's definitely a present uh, in, in our world. I just realized I wasn't paying attention to where I was flying and I went, <laughs> and you went off, off into craft. the wrong so direction. Here we go. So this is our next location here. Uh, we've come upon uh, another, another camp. Okay, so. What we've got to do here is basically just so are we, we're hoping to find him here. We're hoping he's here. Oh, I've seen a box. Are we allowed to open some loot boxes? <laughs> you can open loot boxes. No, I, I think you need to open some loot boxes so that we, yeah. people can see because the, the, there's one down here if you come over near me. <coughs> I'm doing this a mission is, right now. No, come on, this is a particularly glowy one. <laughs> this one's just, where are you at? <laughs> um, I don't know, hang on, where are you? There you are. There you are, ah. look. There you are. Just come down these stairs, let's take a look. So while see, this, I mean, this is the freedom of Anthem. You can be on a mission with somebody who's in dire straits. Okay, meanwhile, <laughs> just be going and looking out for loot, right? <laughs> <laughs> there I am, nice. got a little bit of loot. Awesome. So there's lots of stuff like that. There's like there resources is, in right? the world. Like, yeah. yeah, there's lots of yeah. little things that you can interact with and sort of learn more about. There is, for sure. I but mean, we should really be but, saving yeah, our you know, Try to stay with me, because right now we're, we're using the search mechanic. I didn't mean to derail oh. it. It was just the chat. <laughs> oh, I could no. see them all going on about the, the, oh, the, 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 the boxes in the I, world. They wanted to see some I loot. I totally so. get it, right? So we're, we're using our search mechanic right now to actually find another clue. So this is this green thing up at the top. <laughs> That's exactly what that is, right? So again, using the storm, this is kind of my sprint, right? Again, hovering, using that, using that seals technology. And here Single it is. Single device found. found. Using it to locate Matthias. This search is guys doing? too long, and it's too quiet. Good. Good. That's good. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. So right now we're kind of solving this radio mystery, right? Uh oh, I think we've got some company. Oh, okay. Uh, the coming. In the way of the search. Do something. Yeah, so like we've been talking about all week, right? Uh, the fact that we're all playing four different javelins, right? Endless combinations as far as what people can do. We could play four Colossuses if we wanted, right? Right now, we're obviously oh, choosing to play trouble. each Push of our different ones. Uh, you can see there. Lee up there in the, in the front uh, using the Colossus. He's kind of our big heavy. He can take the most damage. That's definitely where he wants to be when we engage in battle. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a big fan of this shield and some of like the special run charge things you can do with it. Oh, we'll show a little bit of that. We'll show some of the abilities actually later. We'll get get through this fight so we can show them off properly. Yeah, what you want to really do though cool. is you want to come back inside this beacon. There we go. Oh, okay. We solved that puzzle. So this is, right? I'm not playing the game properly. Am I? <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> you can't know what you don't know. <laughs> Let's take out the scar, right? 
Yeah, so what can you tell us about these guys? Are these just the bad guys and we'll learn more about them later? Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely one of the bad guys, right? They're not the Dominion, which other people out there already know. They're, they're the big, big bad, bad guys. These are just cannon fodder. Basically, these are an inconvenience, is what these guys are. <laughs> these guys are just in the way. <laughs> I mean, they're brave going up against, sure I mean, what they... Well, they even wearing that. There's I'm gonna no armor my, on I'm these gonna guys. use my storm ultimate on this thing and just completely get rid Whoa, of this. Oh, okay, that was cool. <laughs> right? Every one of the elements. Every uh, one of the yeah. elements. Boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See you later. Bye, hi. <laughs> right? So, obviously, you want to take out these hives, get rid of the. Because uh, that's what's actually generating these enemies, the scar. How you doing, Interceptor? Pretty good. Yeah? You any, any graphics over there? No? No. <laughs> 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 a little lightning strike. The interceptor does look a little bit like a grabbit. I've just noticed. <laughs> maybe, maybe the pilot for the interceptor Whoa. is a grabbit. Have I died? I'm taking some <laughs> damage here. I was, I was taking some damage. It's, it's me. I'm not playing. Which you, what you guys you probably picked up on there is I was not hovering, and that's when the storm is at its strongest from a dense, defensive perspective, right? So while I was actually on the ground, like not, like now, right, I'm susceptible to damage, right? So I want to actually stay in this hover. As um, some of the squads that I regularly play Battlefield and other games with, um, they will tell you that when you're playing a game with me, you're playing on hard mode. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a liability. Fair <laughs> okay. You, 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 you are the X Factor uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. the wrong direction. I'm the hard mode. Yeah, perfect. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. So you're, you're, you, you put the non-team in team. Exactly, yeah. Oh, well, that's... That's too bad I didn't get to choose my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got some more flying to do now. We do. Nothing. Just lost the, radio the world signal. is huge. We're we're we can basically fly around alive. pretty much everything we can see here, right? And even more that we can't see, all the stuff that's on the ground. Absolutely. And the only thing that's really containing you, obviously, is Got you can't fly forever. Yeah. Right? I like we kind of talked about before. Right? Beautiful open world. Uh, lots of things to do. Lots of, lots of loot activity. to get. Uh, lots of enemies to fight. A lot of creatures. Very dangerous. Right? I'm going to pick up some health. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Here we go. I've got a grenade launcher now. We got it. There we go. We're kind of fighting the perfect fight right now. It's almost like we've rehearsed this. Oh, wait a minute. We fixed that. Here's our next clue. Okay. Right? But actually, I'll tell you before. I want to get a bit. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to the chat. And I know we've had like the. Yep. We had the anthem A M A A A. How many A's do we have? Four, Four A's? Four A's. Five total. <laughs> um, we've had like that going on as well, so we've been asking for your guys' questions to come in on Twitter. Um, if you still want to send some of those in to us, you can. Obviously, we'll try and get to as many questions on the um, uh, on the chat too as we come along, and I'm not trying to die, basically. Um, but Kajuki's here. Um, Kajuki, hey. one of the game changers. Mm -hmm. um, You've obviously you've played the game before. You was with us at uh, you was with the Gamescom. You had a hands-on on that version, and that's kind of the video that a lot of you guys would have um, already seen. That big 20-minute long video. You got it. Um, so you've obviously already gone hands-on <coughs> with that, which is really cool. Um, yes. You enjoying your time with it? How's this new mission? You enjoying it? Let's see what what's going on. A game we're looking for Matthias. There he is. I'm asking Matthias if he can yes, hear me, can right? Hear you, thank goodness. And now we can. can. I'm hiding, Great. The stars are <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I can see them. Um, I know what we should do. Probably before we fly away, because um, I'm sure some of the uh, I'm sure some of the chat want to see it. Like, do you want to show off some of our special abilities? Yeah, let's do it. Like a little bit of that. I mean, I, I only I only say so because I've um, I've got my ultra, and every time I've tried to fight it in rehearsals, I've ended up shooting somebody in the back of the head or launching it straight into a tree. Um, <laughs> feels like a controlled environment here. It does. Um, Who do you want your target to be with that so ultimate? I, I think you oh should. No, I don't know. I just want to oh. put it over there. See where that radar thingy is? Yeah. This thing? Do it. So, activating your ultimate. So, actually, before I do it, yeah. maybe give us a little bit. What should I be doing when I'm using my ultimate plane as a Colossus? I mean, well, with any of your javelins, what you should be doing from an ultimate perspective is, is choosing the timing very, very well, right? So the ultimate is obviously like, where you're playing with Xbox controllers right now. Um, pressing up on the D-pad will actually engage that ultimate. Uh, it's the Siege Cannon. That's the ultimate, essentially, for the, uh, for the Colossus character. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the, the most explosive, uh, uh, destructive weapon you can think of. If you want something to disappear, Use the ultimate, right? right? That's kind of how you're going to finish off some of your heavy bosses, right? Uh, or if you want to finish off multiple targets, 
that's your choice. Make cool. sense? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna power this one up. Let's hope I don't launch it straight into the rock. There we go. <laughs> so I've got a few of these. And yeah. There was a, you couldn't see it on my screen, but there was like a little timer thing going around. Is that basically I can just as many as I can punt out in that time? Absolutely. So it's it's it's, it's a duration based system, right? If you get one attack off, that's well, that's what you get, right? If you can get three off, that's typically what I get off because I, I noticed you only got two off. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But better luck. Next I was time. talking. Right. <laughs> um, I've also got my shield. This is super cool. I love this. Um, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'll come over here. My favorite thing to do with this shield is this burst charge. Yeah. That is a lot of fun. Yeah, that's um, that's definitely what you want to use the Colossus for, right? You want you want the Colossus in front lines, front and center. You can right? do this while you're not gonna be able to see it properly, but you can do it while flying too, which is super cool. Um, I really love this. I lost you. You've lost me. I'm above you. There. Oh, there you go. That's uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to do that, sure you could. <laughs> I mean, get down low. Yeah. Just bowling pin into a load of enemies. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, super cool. So, I suppose let's take a look at the interceptor. A lot of people in the chat want to see some more oh. interceptor. Yes. This is your moment Oops. to shine, mother of grabids. Don't fly away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's me. There's the interceptor. That's the interceptor's ultimate. So this is like a really cool like hack moment. You'll dart around yeah, all the, the enemies the, on the battlefield. Well, the ultimate uh, for the interceptor is essentially uh, using your dual blades, right, like a ninja would, uh, and going from opponent to opponent to opponent and taking them out uh, through time. While you're in that state, uh, the defense, uh, right, again, the storm's hover ability, right, uh, what you're seeing here is ice shards, right? Uh, essentially, when I hit the opponents with this, I'll both do some damage and freeze them, right? Uh, I've already shown off the electrical storm, right? You can see that I'm actually able to hover in the air for quite long, right? Yeah, that's, so that's you kind can, of one you of the could, abilities. Like, so I guess that's kind of like one of the things, like the Colossus. Yes. Um, I can hover for a decent amount of time, but he's a heavy dude. Yeah, um, and you're gonna run out because you don't have that. Uh, you don't have the seals ability that I actually have, right? And what you're also seeing around me right now is actually a, a, a defensive shield, right? So this is the state that you want to play in when you're actually playing with the storm. Again, probably more of a ranged attack type uh, javelin, right? So you want to stay away. Uh, you want to stay in the air because that's where your defense is the best, right? Yeah. You don't want to get too close. Okay, cool. I think we should probably crack on with the mission. Well, yeah, because um, I think Matthias, worried, because he was, uh, was, he, was in uh, he was in trouble, and uh, we're not too much of a hurry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he's still there. <laughs> okay, here's another one of my favorite bits. Get down by the water, call off your jets. Yes. Your jet. Oh, and try not yeah. to crash into the water like I often do. <laughs> Yes, coming. So here we are. Yeah, yes. just right behind you. So it's this whole new area now. So uh, I've seen this question come up in the chat, and I didn't quite get the person's name. But it's, it's basically like this whole world is it open to us? It um, is. It, it's not like we're not constrained. I mean, I know we've kind of been following the path here a little bit at the start, but. Yeah. Um, like, we yeah. could just fly off anyway, really. We could, we could. While you're on a mission, uh, and, and we're, right now we're playing a party, right? So there will be party gather, right? Because yeah. we all obviously want to stay on the mission together, right? Yeah. So the game will help us along from, from, that, from that perspective, for sure. Okay, so we're going to hop down. Hopefully save Matthias. Matthias? However you want Matthias. to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, 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 okay, he's, he's already busy. He's already busy. Let's take out the scar. He seems to be fine. One piece. So far. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Little electrical storm. So these scrappers, where are they coming from? Are they, is it, are they coming from Something underground? Has them enraged. These guys are being spawned. They could be spawned from some hives that we just don't see right now. Uh, they could have uh, be t uh, teleported in through some portal holes. We've got Matthias. He looks okay. I think. I was so absorbed in my research. There's my guy. Okay. What's up, buddy? Oh no, hang on. We've got trouble. Oh, got another wave. Yeah, there's the teleporter. It's like another bad day. Got some more scar coming in. I'd love to know how he got here. I mean, it's took us 45 minutes to get here and we're flying. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, we've messed around a little bit. We don't really know how long we've got. <laughs> Melee attack. Ultimate. 
Where you at? Oh, the juicy's pumping the ultimate. <laughs> Just pulling the trigger. Micro missiles painting those targets. Oh damn. We've got a big one. If you had to pick a favorite Ooh. ultimate, this would be. I think I had. Uh, I'd like the interceptors. Oh, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, I'd love the uh, the, the Ooh, fact that here. you know the little space ninja gets in there, use the dual blades, and just carves things up. I'm behind. So what's going on with this guy here? This well, this is scar head. He kind of looks right? a bit like me. <laughs> yeah. He's he's, uh, he's we don't want to mess with <laughs> no, him for too long, right? Oh, well, yeah. He's got oh, a flamethrower out, water. right? And he's got this big shield. I think I have the eyebrow. Uh oh. <laughs> Seems to be pretty. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he take a lot of damage. You. He'll soak up some bullets. So this is basically like a little, like a little mini boss for the level, I guess. Yes, you got it. Yeah, exactly. Where'd you go? now, actually. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hmm. Uh oh, there he is. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> yeah, he took advantage of so much paying attention. Yeah, and he, 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 he completely snuck under us here. I gotta get no. some of his health. Oh, all right. Behind you. Well, you know what, Lee? What? You want to leave him? I think that's it. Yeah? Down. Yeah. Oof. Let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? There you go. That obviously isn't all. <laughs> There's a hell of a lot more. Out there. At the heart of Anthem is the concept of our world, my story. The unique combination of a dynamic, ever-changing world and a powerful personal story. In our world, you band together with friends for epic adventures across a vast, shared landscape teeming with danger. The world narrative advances for your whole team. Together, you'll confront countless enemies, those who threaten to take control of the Anthem, as well as ancient beasts. And you'll get further into our world by taking on explosive missions offered by agents who need your help. These missions take you deep into the heart of Anthem, while also developing the personal stories of each agent. Trust me, I'm a person you want to know. Outside of the battles, there's free play, a chance for you to explore solo or with friends, uncover answers to your questions about Anthem, and find powerful artifacts that could lead you to victory down the road. Back within the safety of Fort Tarsus is where my story begins. This is your chance to develop a richly personal narrative where your choices have consequences. In this bustling trader town, you'll develop bonds with your pit crew who can help you prepare for future battles. They're the people in the world who have your back. And as your relationships develop, you'll learn about their pasts and the future they hope to see. Fort Tarsus is ripe for exploration as well. You may even encounter shadowy figures with questionable character. It all depends on the decisions you make. This is real-time storytelling, a reinvention of personal narrative in a multiplayer game. As a freelancer, you are the bridge between the heroic adventures discovered in our world and the personal journey that unravels in my story. And ultimately, the key to the fate of everyone 